Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a photo shoot and just doing like some headshots. Uh, I am doing a bunch of really exciting things coming up soon. So if you want to follow me on social media, I'll go ahead and leave my Snapchat for you and then also on my Instagram. And please feel free to go and like my makeup page. It's Chris Goff Makeup and Hair. And I'm definitely planning on filming a lot more. So this is really exciting to be sitting in my living room, which I know it sounds kind of empty, but you'll know why soon and doing this for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and film a look using some of my favorite products for photos. I do something a little bit different for myself than I do for brides, so I'm really excited to just kind of show you guys what I've been doing lately, what I've been loving. I'm having a little bit of breakouts right here. I did get a new skincare product that I think is just kind of like purging anything and that's just like the main area I have issues, but I'll show you guys how to prep it and conceal it. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and let's just jump right into it. So to start out, I'm actually going to do something that I don't do every day, but because I am going to be taking photos, I want my skin to look really bright and luminous and healthy. And so I'm going to go in with my step one equalizer. This is the pink one. And this is just really great for brightening up the skin. I'm going to put this all over and especially focus it towards the center of my face. I really want to get... Um, smooth, pretty skin for this photo shoot. I went ahead and tucked my hair back just for applying my primers and my foundation, but for the photo shoot, I do want it kind of like unruly and crazy, and so I'm gonna flip my head upside down, spray it. I did add a little bit of curl to it, so if you guys wanna see how I do my hair, I do have a tutorial on how I do kind of like my beachy waves. It hasn't changed a whole lot, like my products have changed a little bit, but if you guys want an updated video, just go ahead and let me know. Next, I'm gonna go in with the step one equalizer, and this is the smoothing primer. I really want doll-like skin for my photo shoot today. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my pores in the center of my face using this primer. I'm sure I sound stuffy. I mentioned that in my last video. I have been sick for like two months, you guys. I cannot seem to get healthy. It's all viral, so there's nothing antibiotics will do because it's not bacterial. Um, I have been taking a ton of like herbal supplements, immune boosters, I mean, you name it, I've been doing it, and I feel better, but my energy, it's just taking so long for my energy to get back where it needs to be, and then I woke up kind of stuffy this morning. Usually that's how I wake up, though, like not feeling 100%, and then I feel better throughout the day, and then once bedtime arrives, I start feeling not so great again, so, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get healthy soon. Okay, so once my skin's primed and I've really pressed uh, that smoothing primer into my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with foundation, so today, since I'm taking photos, I'm gonna go ahead and use my HD foundation sticks from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade 117. I have 118 just for like contouring and kind of darker spots, but I'm really fair right now, as you guys probably noticed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the lighter shade of the two. And I absolutely love this stuff. I love how it applies, I love how it looks in photos, everything, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Beauty Blender and just blend that out. You know, and maybe I'm not as pale as I thought I was, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade 118 and just apply this in the hollows of my cheeks and around the perimeter of my face to go ahead and add a little bit of dimension back into my face and just darken up my foundation a little bit, or at least make it appear to look darker. So I'm gonna conceal after I do my eyes. For today, I wanted to do a pretty simple eye look just because, like, I want the focus to be my skin, but I want the focus to be not so much on like a crazy makeup look. I just want it to be like, hey, this is me, this is who I am. On a daily basis, I don't wear makeup. I wear makeup when I have to do events and everything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a really basic eye look, but I'm gonna conceal afterwards. As you can see, um, not all of that is completely covered up, but I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Prime my eyes, I'm gonna use my little baby tester of the Air Patrol, Air Patrol Primer from Benefit. I think this stuff is amazing. I love how lightweight it is. I love that it's a yellow base. It just really helps uh, neutralize the lid, but it also keeps my eyeshadow on all day. And a little bit goes a long way. I've seriously had that thing for, I don't know, I probably used it. Well, things usually last a lot longer on me because I don't wear makeup every day, but I've probably used it five or six times and it's still going, so. Okay, up next is brows, and today I'm gonna go ahead and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Soft Brown and just carve out my brows. Lately, I've been wearing a fluffier brow. Which I really love on my face shape. I feel like it works for me. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows real quick. That makes such a huge difference. Like, I haven't even done that much yet, and it's just 
crazy what a difference it makes. Whew, good brow day. So now that the dip brow is on, I like to go ahead and go in with some of the Urban Decay little Gwen Stefani brow palette. And I use... Um, just a combination of the shades and I like to just kind of set what I just did. I also feel like because the dip brow is so dense and when you set down your brush it's kind of hard to fill in every little spot so the powder helps to really fill in the brows and then I just kind of comb it through a little bit without really smearing it or getting rid of what product I just laid down. I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape, bleh, my Tarte Shape Tape concealer in light medium and just conceal underneath the brows on the brow bone. This just makes the hugest difference on me. It just cleans up and lifts the brows. It's seriously one of my favorite little tricks. I don't take the time to do it every time I do my makeup, but since we're taking photos today, I feel like it's kind of important. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys uh, up close kind of the difference that that makes. I'm going to take a little Morphe M421 brush and just get right underneath of my brow just to clean up these lines. And then any excess product, I just kind of drag down and blend it into the lid. So I'm using the very tip of the brush, so I'm keeping my lines underneath of my brows really precise. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I can definitely tell a huge difference when I do this, and it just really uh, shapes them out and cleans them up and all that good stuff. And then I'll add a, like, a fluffing brow gel in a little bit. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and take this Bite Multi-Stick in the shade Blondie. I have been loving these things. I think they're really easy and awesome, and I actually really love the shade for my skin tone. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my lid, and I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. It's okay if it's not perfect because we still have to conceal. Um, this is just to kind of get down a base and start adding a little bit of color to the eyes. Next, I'm gonna go in with this little Z palette that I made. I think they're beautiful. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is Bandwagon right here. It's kind of like a cooler brown. I'm gonna go ahead and take that on a Zoeva 228 brush. I'm gonna be blending this in my crease with a really light hand. I don't want my eyes, like I said, to be too Crazy. So that is the darkest shade I'm going to use for the look today. Next on the Morphe R37, I really love this rose gold collection. I'm going to take the shade Bake Sale and that's up here in this corner. And that's just going to go ahead and add a little bit of warmth back into the look. Again, taking that in the crease, but I'm taking it a little bit lower and almost kind of setting that blondie shade as well. So now I'm going to do a little bit more of a blending motion with just a little bit more product on my brush. Okay, now I'm going to dip into my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And any really like matte light shade will do, but I'm going to take the shade Tempura. And I'm just going to go ahead and pat that on my lid towards my tear duct just to kind of lighten up the look. And I'm taking that on the new Makeup Geek foiled flat brush. I'm just kind of fading that into everything else we just laid down. I'm going to take the other side of this brush and dip it into Lucky Penny, which is like this pretty kind of warmer uh, golden shade right here, and just add a little bit of shimmer just right after that lighter color, but before bandwagon. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my brush back over and use the shade uh, Primavera right here, kind of a shimmery shade, and layer that on top of Tempura. Like I said, I didn't really have a direction, I'm just kind of doing whatever. You'd probably be fine to lay down your eyeshadow base and then do a lighter shimmery shade on your inner corner a little bit darker and then like blow it out with a matte shade but you know sometimes it takes a process to get to what I want for the day. I'm gonna go in with that same blending brush from earlier with no additional product and just go ahead and blend in my crease. I promise this look will completely come together in just a minute. Alright going in with temper again just like this light satin shade I'm gonna go ahead and take that and a Zoeva 232 brush and just lightly tap that underneath the brow bone to highlight and lighten up that upper crease area. We want to keep that light so the eyes don't look too dark. So I think that's about all I'm going to do on the lid of my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and conceal because I'm dying to do the rest of my face. <laughs> so I'm zooming you back out. As you can see, my face looks 
a little bit fair, but we're about to take care of that right now. Isn't this shirt cute? It's from Forever 21 and it was like $10. I think it's so cute. Little hair. Hair's a little cray, but it'll all come together. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape. I did order the shade Light Neutral, I think, but it's not here yet. So I'm gonna use my Light Medium. And I've been just kind of going here, here, under here. And as you can see, I use a really light hand. That's because the stuff is super full coverage, which I personally like more natural looks, but some people like full coverage more. So, I mean, use as much as you're comfortable with. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my Beauty Blender. Okay, so you can see how that really just like cleaned up the eyeshadow, but also brightened up my face a little bit more and helped conceal any of that redness that I had in between. I'm also gonna take the shade Y23 in the Makeup Forever HD. So this is normally a little bit light, but since I'm so fair right now, I just, whoa. I just wanna go ahead and brighten up my under eyes a little bit more. And this is a wonderful product to do that with. And I'm just gonna take it here. I just want the center of my face a little more highlighted than usual for this shoot. Uh, like I said, I'm really going for like that doll skin look. Plus with being sick for so long, I feel like I look a little bit drab and this will help, you know, brighten me up, make me look a little healthier. Okay, up next is setting that concealer. And today I'm gonna take my TARDIS contour kit and this thing looks jank because I use it to death. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the yellow shade right here and I'm going to take a little Morphe R31 brush. I think this is a highlighter brush, but I really like it for setting my under eyes. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap that under there. The sharp, bleh, the Tarte Shape Tape, you don't really need to set, but the one I put over top, I kind of, I just want to make sure everything's going to stay where it needs to stay. You know, I have these nice forehead wrinkles getting older you know so go ahead and set those with the yellow powder as well this is one of my new favorite things to do I do want to order a uh, smaller version of this brush is anyone else upset that they got rid of the regular elite collection I think it's so pretty and it looks so much like the Sephora brushes and honestly I think they're just as good if not better I'm sure the elite 2 collection is good too but I am just like really anti that like red tip on them something about that like I don't know it just it's not my favorite so I don't really care for it, but if you like it, go for it. That's the only reason I haven't ordered a smaller version is because it's in the red. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here, contour three and four. Oh, this thing is so like, so terrible looking. But I'm gonna take this nice flat brush and I'm going to just lightly carve out my nose. And this is gonna make my nose look narrower. Once I kind of have those lines on, I'm going to take the clean brush and just buff them out a little bit so it doesn't look so obvious. But yeah, nose job. Hey. Okay, and now for contouring the rest of my fish, I'm going to take my R10 brush and that same shade 3 and 4 and start doing my cheekbones. I'm contoured I'm just going to very 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 lightly bronze and for that I'm going to use my, my makeup forever pro bronze fusion in the shade 20 M and this is just a really pretty kind of like warm brownie bronzer nothing too crazy and I'm gonna take my R7 brush for that and then just go over where I contoured I'm when I say lightly bronze I mean very lightly it's clear I haven't been out in the sun in a while and I want this to look as natural as possible but I do want to add some life back into my skin since we concealed in all that fun stuff. To finish the eyes off, I'm gonna take my Zoeva 226 smudge brush and I'm gonna take that Van Wagen shade again and just keep that towards the outer third and just gently press it right along my lower lash line 
I feel like doing your lower lash line really rounds out the look. I know a lot of people are afraid of it, especially when I'm doing makeup on clients. Um, and I think it's because they're afraid of like too much darkness. But I do think that it helps define the eyes and just kind of brings the look back around. And then I take that pocket change, that kind of shimmery shade, and just fill in the middle. And I'm gonna take a little Morphe E35, like just a little teeny accent brush, and I'm just going to lightly highlight right in here on this inner corner, and just bring it all the way around so that it connects to the top, to the lid where we applied that shade. Now for the waterline, I'm going to go ahead I've been using my nude NARS pencil quite a bit, but I think because I'm not doing like a really crazy dramatic look, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Via Veneto, or Veneto, the black shade obviously, and I'm going to do my waterline and do my tight line. You can see my eyes are very well defined now. Um, and then I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and just curl my lashes. I usually do three or four good like little squeezes. For mascara today, I've been loving the Stila Huge Lash. This is just like a little sample one, but I do kind of want to get the full size one because I think it's awesome. Goes on really well, grabs on my lashes, makes them look really thick and long, and yeah, I love it. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do like little individual lashes just to add like a little bit of extra oomph, and I think I might just because I know we're wanting to do like some close-up like eye shots. I love this mascara. It's amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some brow gel. This is my favorite right now. It's the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer from Maybelline. And it has like the weirdest little applicator, but I usually like to get it off. But there are like some crazy awesome fibers in there. And this is gonna help lighten my brows up a little bit. And I just comb them upward. It can be hard to get used to the applicator, but once you do, it's not bad. Seriously, love this stuff. Today for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Amaretto from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just going to use that on my E4 brush, and just sweep that right on the cheekbones. Such a pretty color. And for highlight, I'm gonna take my R36 brush and Champagne Pop, Right here, and just highlight in the usual places. I'm just playing now. I have like product in front of me, and I'm getting all excited, and I just want to play with stuff. So I'm gonna use Smoke and Whistles, which is from ColourPop. It's kind of like Champagne Pop, but a little bit more. Okay, yeah, it's really close. I want to say it's a little more like metallicy though, like a little bit. Has more silver in it maybe? I don't know. Yeah, more pink, but maybe a little more silver in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that on my finger. These feel so cool, they're so affordable. I'm just like obsessed with ColourPop lately. It's so crazy. But I'm just gonna take that down the bridge of my nose. The top of my cupid's bow. It's not like I want like too blinding of a highlight, but I do like the highlighted look. I think it's really, really pretty. And then if I take just a little detail brush, I can go ahead and get these guys too, which I just love that highlight. I think it's so pretty. And I might even hit underneath the brow bone a little. And I'm also gonna tap this on the inner corner. I don't know, I just think it's pretty and just to kind of do something fun. For my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take my stripped down lip pencil from MAC. And I'm gonna go in with Skimpy from ColourPop. So you can add a gloss if you want to on top of this. I think I'm just gonna leave it as is so that I can just kind of touch it up as I go. Sometimes gloss for me actually takes off the color or I feel like it wears faster. So I'm going to leave it this color and then I'm gonna go ahead and do some false lashes. I, Decided that I want to go ahead and just do a few little individuals. These are the not free double flares, medium length, but the shade is black. And all I do is take, um, whoa, that was gross. So I have some black lash glue on the back of my hand and I'm just going to pick these up with a tweezer really close to the base where they're connected to the little, uh, whatever that is. What is that? 
Oh gosh, there's lash glue everywhere. This is already scary. So I'm just gonna add a few to the very outer third of my lash line. And it helps if you're looking down. So I tilt my mirror up and then I just look straight down. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with some of the short blacks and I'm just gonna do a few of those um, moving towards my inner corner. So I go from medium to short. I'm sure you can see I got a little bit of glue right there, but don't worry, I have a trick for getting it off. So for that little spot of lash glue, I'm gonna take my spoolie and very, very gently I'm combing it off and it's gone. And then some people like to add mascara to blend in the lashes. I already did mascara and I feel like the lashes are really pretty and black like as they are. So the only thing I'm gonna do is take mascara just on the inner third of my lashes just to see if I can't blend where there are lashes and where there aren't. Okay guys, so that does it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome and love this look as much as I do. I think it's perfect for headshots. Really pretty, glowy, dewy, um, and it's very me. Like it's just not too like crazy or blown out looking, but just more natural. I am gonna do like some finishing touches, try to get my hair to cooperate a little bit more than it is right now. I put a lot of product in it, which normally I don't put product in my hair, so I think it's kind of like, uh, what are you doing? But it'll be okay. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am gonna be posting more frequently, which is super exciting. I hope you've already started to notice the change, and I hope you guys are doing great. Yeah, my thoughts and prayers are with you. We'll see you next time, bye. The flies back. Oh, no, you didn't. Just, dude, he just ran into my lights. I don't know if you guys can hear him. He is like, sounds like a bee. Okay, anyways, little girl or something. Can't deal with this when I'm trying to film. It stresses me out. Now my nose is running. There's black lash glue everywhere. There is lash glue everywhere. The fly is in my freaking ring light. Unreal. Did you just see it run into me while it's doing my lashes? Like, don't mess with me, dude. Do you guys hold your breath when you do like your lashes or your liner or anything? I'm always like. Hey.